Hi, today we're going to do a lesson on uh, measuring units and oh, crap. <laughs> Hi, today we're going to be looking at liquid measurement and capacity and we're going to look at how we can convert gallons to quarts to pints and to cups. Now, many people learn different ways on how to remember all of these important numbers, and I'm going to give you a few um, <clears throat> short and easy ways to remember um, how capacity works together and how it's converted. What I'm going to do is draw out a robot, and he will show you the capacity, and it'll be an easy way for you to remember exactly how they are converted. So we're going to start out with a uh, circle as his head, <laughs> and his body then is the gallon. Now many of you probably get milk from the grocery store, and it comes in a big gallon jug. So our middle body part of our robot is a gallon. Okay. Now in any robot or person, um, we have to extend the body out and we have to start with the arms or shoulders. So we're going to start out like this and these are going to be our quarts. The next biggest, those aren't quite even. <laughs> Let's just erase and try to make them as even as possible. That well, looks a little better. Again, it's not going to be perfect. Um, and then we have our legs of the robot. And we're going to also try to make those quarts about the same size. And if they're not perfect, no big deal. And these are going to be quarts. And I'm going to put a little key over here that we're going to run out of room as our objects get smaller. The Q stands for quart. Okay, so we have four quarts as part of our robot. <clears throat> and maybe I should do that a different color. We'll, um, we'll go back and do the colors later, actually. I think that'll be a good idea as a review. Now, we have our four quarts, and we're going to add on to our pints. So four quarts equals one gallon, and there are two pints in every quart. So we're just going to add on to our quarts. just like this. And again, I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to put my P over here for pint, and then I will label my pints on my robot. Okay, oh, one more over here, and we're good. All right, we're starting to see some sort of a body here, aren't we? That looks good. And next, we have our cup. I'm going to put gallon up here just so we know that that is our biggest measurement of capacity. And we're going all the way down to cups. Okay, so C is for cup. So what I'm going to do then, for every pint, there are two cups. The neat thing is that there's always we're always building off. So next to our pints, we're going to do our cup. You want to make sure you're drawing nice and neat so that it kind of represents the same number. It'll make things easier at the end. And we're going to be using this drawing tomorrow in class. So please make sure when we are done here, when you're done watching, you are going to make a replica of this fun and exciting robot. I'm just labeling all of our cups here. And you can kind of see how our robot has formed. Okay, we can see the, the kind of the human form come out of it. If you want to be really creative, you can, uh, you know, make face. And of course, on my robot, he'd be wearing a baseball cap with uh, a twins logo. Because <laughs> I absolutely love the twins. But, um, 
this gives you the basic idea of our capacity robot. And tomorrow in class, we are going to look more in detail and you're going to be uh, doing a worksheet in a small group on, on these different measurements and how we can convert them. Let's do one real quick, quick uh, measurement as uh, we finish up here. We have gallons and with our gallons, we will have, if we have one gallon, we have to figure out how many quarts. So if you look here, we're simply going to count up our quarts that are connected to the gallon. And we have one, two, three, four. So one quart, or one gallon, I'm sorry, equals four quarts. Okay? And if we have one quart, how many pints does it equal? So we're simply going to look at the one quart and connected to one quart is two pints. Looks like points, but we'll go as pints. <laughs> and lastly, one pint is equal to how many cups? And there's only two connected, so we have two cups. Okay, so tomorrow, um, please bring these in. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video right now so that you can make your own capacity robot. And again, make it as creative as you want, but you have to show the basics. We have to have that gallon in the center body, the four quarts connected, 